start with a book called Lynchpin. This is by Seth Golden. It is a booming bestseller <coughs> on many of the uh, New York Times, Business Week, Wall Street Journal list. He is a prolific author. He, of course, has one of the most popular blogs that you will ever see. He wrote Tribes, which we did here at the first writing book synopsis, Purple Cow, uh, and other books. And he is a, a, a very striking author. Y'all, this book is very motivating. As you listen to this synopsis, you will want to become a linchpin. And uh, it's very exciting to hear what a linchpin is and what a linchpin does in an organization. Notice the subtitle of the book is called, Are You Indispensable? And that's what linchpins are. They are indispensable. You know, linchpin, they are the essential building blocks of great organizations. They may not be famous, but they are indispensable. They get the best jobs, and they have the most freedom. And I put on your presentation outline a bulleted list of the behaviors that Seth Godin talks about in terms of what linchpins actually do. And an interesting question for you is, do you have what it takes to be indispensable? Have you ever found a shortcut that others missed? Discovered a new way to resolve a conflict? Have you ever connected with someone when others could not reach? And this is a quote from him early in the book. He says, the only way to get what you're worth is to stand out, to exert emotional labor, to be seen as indispensable, and to produce interactions that organizations and people care deeply about. First part of the book, he makes the case for why we need linchpins. And what he does is he talks about how, in fact, the world at work has moved on and may have left people who are not linchpins uh, in the dust. And what happened was is that when you made a business that was catering to the least or the lowest common denominator, the people with minimal skill, you were racing to the bottom. This is what he says. If you make your business possible to replicate, you're not going to be the one to replicate it. Others will. If you build a business filled with rules and procedures that are designed to help you hire cheap people, you will have to produce a product without humanity or personalization or connection, which means that you'll have to lower your prices to compete, which means you're in a race to the bottom. And indispensable businesses, he says, race to the top. And then the last thing he says, I pull this quote, is the only way to succeed is to be remarkable, to be talked about. You don't become indispensable merely because you're different, but the only way to be indispensable is to be different. That's because if you're the same, so are plenty of other people. And uh, it all begins with what you're doing right now. He says you don't find a job that matches your passion. You transfer passion to your job. It's a very motivational book. Lynchpin, are you indispensable? Don't raise your hand if you are not. We don't need to know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the synopsis of Lynchpin.